Hey y'all, hope you're doing well. I wanted to make a video on why I chose the Yamaha THR102 as my amp of choice and what I use every day. I also made a video previously about different desktop amps and the pros and cons between them, along with my own personal recommendations. I would recommend checking that out if you're in the middle of deciding to get one or just want the knowledge of them. Um, it's quite insightful and provides a little bit more details than what a lot of other YouTubers I've seen um, have. First thing is going to be the build quality. This one's made out of metal, which really separates it from the others. Um, at least the front and uh, top is, which is what you see the most. Uh, the sides are plastic, which is still welcome as it makes it lighter and more, uh, more portable for us to carry around. Um, the paint job is great as well. There's no big uh, logo or branding here in the middle. There's just a tiny Yamaha logo on the side, and it's also flush as due to this design, it just goes right in. So this is one of the best amps I've ever seen um, in terms of looks. So it's really awesome. It's a bonus. And since it's on my desk all the time, it's really inspiring to just keep on playing with. is isn't the biggest factor on why you should pick an amp, but it is a really nice bonus having this eye candy and being the way it is. Um, the other thing is going to be the onboard controls. I really like them a lot. Since I'm not the best person at EQing things, this is helping me practice. And I really love the presets here as I can just dial right into them. I love that there's five here um, as opposed to others where you only get a couple or you, you're kind of limited. This really you can do any five tones that you want. And I also like that um, on the THR app, you can go ahead and add unlimited amounts actually, which is quite awesome. And speaking of the app, I found the app to be really polished and very, very easy to use as well. Everything's on one page, which is really perfect for, you know, quick dialing and uh, just moving around. They really thought about the user interface, it seems like. So that's uh, a huge bonus. Um, other amps as well, other amp apps, they're quite nice and I like them all equally, but I just prefer the THR about it that maybe it's the visuals and the layout that make it stand out more than others. That and the Nux, those two are the best. Um, some other things about it is also the size and the weight. The weight is 6.61 pounds. From, even though that's relatively very light, um, for me, for a desktop amp, I do find a little bit on the heavier side, but that's okay as I usually don't move around with this much. Once it's plugged in, it's plugged in. Um, of course, it's not the smallest if you compare it to things like the Nux, but it's still very portable compared to others. And uh, the reason why I believe they added the weight and the size the way it is is due to these uh, drivers here. There's three inch drivers, so that's really good. The cones can produce nice, big, full sound. And also if you're using other um, software like bias effects, things like that, this is gonna be a really good studio monitor for that. So. I love the versatility of it being um, a studio monitor for bias while also being a standalone great app and then uh, for computer speakers it's pretty decent. Of course it's not as good as dedicated computer speakers that are above 60 bucks but still it, it's quite good. It's pretty much one of the most important things. It's the sound. It, it sounds amazing. Uh, the drivers, the openness, the spatial surround that it gives you is um, really second to none. Um, it's got enough uh, bass in it to where it can really handle the low end as well um, compared to others where it can still do the low end and you still get that emphasis but that oomph, that push, it doesn't, the, speed, the drivers aren't really big enough or the cabinet's not big enough for it. I believe this is the best uh, ratio of not being too big uh, to where it's not really a desktop amp and not being too small to where you sacrifice on that. This really provides that full sound. So some of the disadvantages is actually going to be the connectivity. This uses a power brick. Um, it's 20 watts running on AC power. So I can't really blame Yamaha for using this when you're using AC. The way it is, is it's just you, you have to use it to give you that power that you need. Um, at the same time, if you look at other amps like the Nux Mighty Air, they're all using USB-C, so that makes it super convenient. And in this case, it's it's still on the other, you know, AC thing, so you got to carry the uh, cord with you pretty much everywhere you go. And another thing as well is if you're connecting it to the um, computer to do your recording, there's no USB-C there either. You're using a USB-B 
uh, which is like the ones that are on printers and things like that to go ahead and recordings with. So there's still no USB-C there. So I found that to be um, a bit annoying actually. And another disadvantage is also gonna be the uh, part that it's not rechargeable or uh, wireless. Um, the Nux, for example, does have those things and that's a big welcome bonus too. But this doesn't have it. Of course it does in the higher uh, versions of this THR, but at that point you're shelling out so much money that I don't really know if it's going to be worth it anymore. The one that I have is the uh, one that is going to be always plugged in and not wireless, uh, but that's also going to be the most economical and for what you're getting it seems to me make the most sense. Overall, if you look at the pros and cons and kind of weigh them all out, I really found this to be the best as the drivers, the look, the onboard control, the app, all those things just seem to uh, be a really nice package altogether. And even the disadvantages, they can kind of be negated as, uh, you know, if it's always plugged in and you're not moving around much, it's okay if it's not wireless. If you do want to use it wirelessly and you get the base model, you can by just buying a transmitter on Amazon and uh, hooking it up to your guitar. It's not going to be as neat as the built-in one, as the receiver is built into the amp and you don't have to add a receiver on top but it still gets the job done. Uh, coming to the conclusion here is if you uh, really want the best combination of home and travel use, I recommend using a THR-10 too, and then also using the Mighty Plug. As the Mighty Plug is basically the same as the Mighty Air, but it has the same DSP, uh, digital signal processing and things like that. And you can really travel with it because it fits in your pocket and do your practice and recordings with that. And when you're at home, you can use this, utilize the bigger cones and have that more full sound and just um, the more tweaking and presets. So that uh, really makes the best combination of on the go and travel. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions about these amps, then uh, just go ahead and leave me a comment. Thanks.